confident she was persistent she was humble because she recognized her position she did not compare herself like yeah why you gotta feed your children first why you gotta eat first you're trying to discriminate you're trying to be racist you're trying to do that you're trying to do that she wasn't complaining about nothing <laughs> my name is Mohan welcome to my youtube channel today's video is all about the little things that God placed in your life and that we tend to not recognize or not use it because we feel like it's not enough it's also about stopping procrastination and being proactive and just do it just do what God has placed in our life what God has called us to do so I'm just gonna dive in right into the video so I hope that you find this video helpful if you do don't forget to like the video subscribe below for more video like this before we start let's pray cuz child I need the Holy Spirit to deliver this correctly to you okay thank you Lord for your grace thank you Lord for giving me the ability and finally the courage to release this video I thank you Lord that you are continuing to speak to me and that you allow me Lord to speak Lord from a place that honors you and that worship you and that give you glory Lord I pray Lord that you allow me to have the right words and the right saying and to transfer this knowledge that I have learned with you and through you that I can transfer it, Lord, to the viewers and anybody that is watching this video and that it can just transform their life and transform their destiny and impact them and motivate them, Lord, and just revive, Lord, something in them, Lord, that was dead in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the adoration. Holy Spirit, continue to speak through me. No nerves, because I know it's weird to talk to myself on a camera, but I pray, Holy Spirit, that you give me the courage and the zeal to share the knowledge and to say this exactly the way that you want me to say it in Jesus name we pray amen okay so we're gonna read from the book of Mark this is something that I wrote back in April 17 I don't know if you can see like the date I'm reading from the NLT version um, so it's from verse 24 to 30 and I'm just gonna read it and then you can go ahead and reread it by yourself and you know get your own understanding but I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna tell you guys what I feel like God is speaking for us anyone here in this season so the fate of a Gentile woman then Jesus left Galilee and went north to the region of Tyre he didn't want anyone to know which house he was staying in but he couldn't keep it a secret right away a woman who had heard about him came and fell at his feet her little girl was possessed by an evil spirit and she begged him to cast out the demon from her daughter since she was a gentile woman born in syrian phoenicia jesus told her first i should feed the children my own family the jews it isn't right to take food from the children and throw it to the dogs she replied that's true lord but even the dogs under the table are allowed to eat the scraps from the children's plate. Good answer, he said. Now go home, for the demon has left your daughter. And when she arrived, she found her little girl lying quietly in bed and the demon was gone. What this story is basically telling me is first, you need to be humble and confident in what you're asking God. Because this woman was not scared. She sneaked in the house because Jesus did not want anyone to know that he was there. She sneaked in found Jesus Jesus tells her hey I can't give you anything I can't do anything for you 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 gotta go basically and she said no nah. because <laughs> even the dogs you know they eat she said no you're not about to leave me hanging because I know you can feed your children and still feed me the same way you can feed the children and still feed the dog you can still feed me I'm not trying to take what is not mine I'm just trying to get the scraps like the scraps and I went to like Google and I typed the definition of scraps because it's not something that I use in my vocabulary and this was the definition I'm gonna read it a scrap is a small piece or amount of something especially one that is left over after the greater part has been used is a small piece or a little amount of something especially one that is left over after the greater part has been used so when you eat and you give your dog the bones that's the scrap because you you ate the meat out of it you maybe gave the bone to your dog he's taking the scraps but that scrap was so powerful that it was able to heal her daughter be confident and be persistent in your pursuit for for whatever that it is that you do if god has called you to any type of um industry whether it's the music industry art beauty 
fashion, YouTube, creation. Be persistent. Persistent means that you're doing it nonstop. Like you don't let until you get exactly what you want. And I'm not saying in a way that is crazy because don't be persistent in the things that is not for you. Like it's never going to work out. It's never going to last. But if you know that's what God calls you to be, when you start doing it, be consistent and persistent. Do it diligently. Do it every day. Do it good. Have the passion to do it every single day. Don't be discouraged by what he or she said. Don't be discouraged because it doesn't look like another person. Don't be discouraged because you feel like, you know, it's not moving the way that you expect or the way that you thought. Because, listen, you are a child of the Most High God. There is nothing that is impossible to you. If you just wait a little bit longer, a little bit longer, you see the miracles. You will see the miracles. And sometimes we tend to forget, but I always say this, like literally we are all living in our answered prayers. Like if you think about it, right? You was once praying for the apartment that you're in. You was once praying for the car that you're driving. You was once praying for the relationship that you have. You was once praying to heal. You were, you were once praying to have the freedom that you have right now. And at that time, it seemed like it was never going to happen. But you probably worked hard. You did the work. You cried. You, you know, you did. You, you stayed persistent and consistent in your pursuit for whatever that you have now. So why don't you do the same thing when it comes to the things that God has called you, whether it's starting a business, whether it's starting a YouTube channel. And I'm speaking to myself because this took me a minute. <laughs> I've been having this YouTube forever and I'm, I'm not consistent. I come, I post, I go because I feel like, no, I don't have enough to say. You know, I don't have the best makeup. I don't have the best accent. I don't have the, like I always find something. I don't have the equipment. I don't want to film from my phone. I need a camera. I need this and this. And it's like, I just heard God saying, use the little i gave you you have a phone you can do a lot with a phone you have a computer you can do a lot with a computer you have 500 dollar find a way to start that business with 500 dollar don't start with 500 articles that you're trying to sell start with one just one item just one product that you're trying to sell let's continue um she was persistent she was confident she was confident she was persistent she was humble because she recognized her position she did not like to compare herself like yeah why you gotta feed your children first why you gotta eat first you're trying to discriminate you're trying to be racist you're trying to do that you're trying to do that she wasn't complaining about nothing she did not argue y'all she did not find an excuse she did not argue she was humble in it like this just like she was humble in it she said lord you're right but <laughs> i know that even the scraps, the little that is left after you feed them, I'm sure you're going to have an overflow. Like, you know, you, you're Jesus. You are Jesus. You're literally Jesus. You can make a miracle. After you feed them, there's going to be a little left. So give me, give me that. Give me that. Apart from humility, you can tell that she knew exactly who she was speaking with. She recognized her position. She recognized where she was. She recognized who she is. And she recognized her right to ask because literally the Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Whatever you ask in my name, my father will give it to you. So she recognized that she could ask. She could still ask. Even if, you know, Jesus is saying not right now, you know, she could still ask. And just that, Jesus was like, I got to do it. I got to do it. So who are you not to ask? Why ain't you praying? Why are you not asking? Ask for the help that you need. <clears throat> Stop worrying about people are going to think I'm weak. People are going to think, no, ask for the help. You are not begging. You are asking for help. Ask to God. Pray to God. Tell him, God, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm just asking you for you to make a way. And when he makes a way, ask, tell, talk, like literally talk. There's, I, I don't know how this, there's something that people say, oh, um, a mouth that talk can never be lost or something like that. I don't I don't remember exactly how it goes But it's basically to say as long as you have your mouth to talk to ask You will never lack Because you don't know something you don't know how to start a business Ask somebody that started a business go on YouTube and ask YouTube how to start this business You don't know what to, to do what with your life Ask somebody that has experience ask a mentor look for mentors and ask for help ask 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 because i'm like that too i'm somebody that whenever i'm going through stuff i will deal with it myself because i'm miss independent i don't deal with it myself i'm gonna pray to god and i'm gonna do it by myself yeah it's cute <laughs> but it's tiring okay it is tiring it is 
tiring. I want to live a soft life in Christ. Shout out to the podcast. <laughs> I want to live a soft life in Christ. And it comes with asking. Asking for the things that you feel like you're lacking. Asking and seeking for the things that you feel like you need more. And somebody will always be there to help you. God will always be there to help you. God will always send somebody your way to help you. Send a video, send a meme, send somebody, a mentor, a friend, a family member to help you and be like, oh yeah, you say you need it, da 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 Oh yeah, you mentioned that you needed a car. Oh, my friend is selling a car. You mentioned you wanted to start a business. Oh, you mentioned you was looking for a job. Oh, my friend is hiring. Oh, this job is hiring. Oh, you mentioned you wanted to purchase a house and you don't know what to do. Oh, oh, let me tell you how I did it. And that's literally how you step into your blessing because then you get the knowledge that people have and you don't have to go through mistakes or have to figure it out by yourself because the help is literally there let them help you the right people though that's why you got to pray first before that so scraps is the key to your blessing and the little things start an empire what gift and talent has god given you that you're neglecting that little drawing that you do that could be art in a museum one day. That little talent or motivation speech that you give to people. You are the girl or you know, you're the girl that everybody calls when they are having relationship drama and they call you to have your advice. You are the person that your family run to for you to advise them in a situation. That's the gift. That's a gift. What have you done with it? How are you de developing it? How are you using it and putting it into practice so that it can grow into something bigger? So you can start a company, so you can be, um, I don't know, a psychologist, so you can be a therapist, so you can do great things with that small thing. Like every empire started small. Amazon didn't start Amazon. Amazon was a bookstore. Um, Tesla did not start Tesla. Um, I mean, even the spaceship that they're building, they didn't just start with spaceship. Uh, what else can I say? Facebook was not the Facebook of today where you can do all of those things. There was lim limits and things improve over time because you gain knowledge, you gain strength, you gain people along the way that comes and add into the little that you have to make it grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. Like even if you think of nature, like a tree just doesn't appear out of nowhere, it's a seed. It starts from something very small, it grows the roots, the roots come out, then the tree come, then the branches come, then it's this big thing. And we, we are just in the microwave generation, how someone would say. <laughs> we are just in the microwave generation where we want things big now, big now. But it's like God has already entrusted us with small. What have we done with the small that God entrusted you with? Where are you with that little job? Did you save? Because I'm guilty of this too. I'll be like, God, this is not my dream job. I'm not making that much money. But you're making money. Your bills are paid. You have the money to do your nails. <laughs> you have the money to go and do your lashes every single week or every two weeks. And that'd be expensive. You have the, the, you know, you have the money to do everything else. But somehow you can't save. What have you done with the little that God gave you? You have a little money, save a little money. After you pay your tithes, after you pay your bills and your tithes, save a little money. Not only is a habit that you're developing because you're saving money, but also it's the same money that you can use to start that business at the end of the year. It's the same money that you can use to help that person. It's the same money that you can use to put that down payment. It's the same money that you can use to build whatever it is that God has placed in your, it has placed in your heart. Number one, be confident. Number two, be persistent. Number three, be humble and recognize your position. Number four, start with little. The fifth one, you have to have faith. You cannot expect to do something and doubt yourself in the process of doing it. Now, don't get me wrong. All of us, we have insecurities. We have moments of doubt. We have moments of fear. But what does the Bible say about fear and doubt? Don't fear. Do not be afraid. Be courageous. Be strong and courageous. So you have to be a person that is so faith-filled that you know it's going to work. Especially if it's something that you, it's something that is, is you. Like you know in your heart, this is your purpose. You have to have that faith. Like God, 
I know it's gonna work. I might not know how because that's where the doubts come from. The doubts come from not knowing the process, you know, not knowing how it's gonna happen. Is it this video or that music or is it this job that is gonna lead me to this? Is this this business or this business? No, you can start three businesses and on the fourth businesses, that's when it's successful. The same way that you can release three albums, the fourth album is successful and from there is the same way you can post 155 videos and just that 156 video is the video that gives you the breakthrough. So you have to have faith that God is going to open the doors. God is going to make the miracle happen. God is going to use what you've placed out, the little that you've put out, the little that you placed out, the, the effort that your part, your own part. God is going to take that, mold it, shape it, develop it. And then release it to the right people and release it at the right moment that's exactly what it is so the fifth one is to have faith have faith because even God says it if we have faith like a mustard seed a mustard seed is this tiny like a mustard seed we can tell a mountain move from here to there like the, every time I read that verse I'm like God please I want that kind of faith I want the kind of faith that no matter how my situation looks like no matter what I put out no matter if this doesn't work out no matter if like I just rest assured that you are gonna make a way that you will make a way where it seems to be no way like you'll make a way you would do your thing because you are God and nothing is impossible to you and that's what I encourage you to do just have that faith have that boldness in him like he is gonna do it not the way you think he's gonna do it not the way you envision it for it to go you know up down like this left and you thought that no he's gonna do it his way at his time and his time is going to be the perfect time trust me because you are going to be ready he's going to be ready and you, you're just gonna be amazed like wow okay god like do your thing man like you did your thing you know, oftentimes the reason why we procrastinate is because we see this big thing and we have these big ideas and this big and we're like, oh my God, I'm going to start tomorrow. I have to lose 10 pounds. I can't do that. I, I'm, I got to do that in five days. Okay. And it like, and you get overwhelmed and you don't start. If you want to start being active, how about a 15 minute walk every single morning or every single evening? How about a 30 minute workout? Whether you are home or at the gym, three times a week. You don't got to go every day. If you've never worked out, start one time a week and build the consistency, build the persistence, build your, build your body so that your body start getting used to it. And then go a little bit up, then a little bit up, then three times a week, then five times a week if you can. Or if you are comfortable with four times a week, do four times a week. But don't get overwhelmed by the by the huge goals and the huge ideas that you don't even start and you're just stuck. You just have paralysis over, oh, I have to, have to, have to make the big idea that, that God gave me. I have, to, I have to make a big music video. No! Don't stay paralyzed. Have faith and use what you have. Okay? This is another topic, but if you read the Bible, you know, God makes it clear that he only gives to somebody that can multiply. He only gives to somebody that will not give him the same thing, but that will show him that what he has given you, you've done something with it. If you think about it, if somebody gave you $10 right now and say, hey, I'm giving you this $10 and you come back and you're like, oh my God, I made $20. Wouldn't that person give you another 20? Like, okay, go ahead and make 40 then. If, if you know, somebody asked you like, hey, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, and you knew, that that person wasn't going to do nothing. Would you invest in that person? Would you give that person exactly what they need? No, because you know that person is just talking. So that's the same thing for God. He literally blesses us according to what we can handle. If you cannot handle big, he will not give you big because you have done nothing with the little that you have. So therefore, use the little that you have. Do something that shows that, hey, God, you've given me this little, but look what I've done with this little. That little that you gave me, I got this degree with it. That little that you gave me, I started this business. Now, you're responsible for this. Now, <laughs> I'm going to let go and let God do your thing because I did my part. And from that moment, all you have to do is just wait, trust, and believe. Wait, trust, and believe and keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Keep being persistent. Keep seeking. Keep praying. Keep putting out whatever it is that you're put, putting out. Little is the new big. And if you need more encouragement, just think about this. David and Goliath, first of all, we tell, we tell, the Bible tells us that David was small. Now, David used a slingshot to kill a giant. 
David used a slingshot to click to kill a giant. He used little. He didn't say, God, I'm gonna go to the gym and wait till I weigh 10,000 pounds and I become a giant. I'm gonna go and do surgery to increase my height. I'm gonna go and take training for 500 months and wait five years and six days before I go and slay that giant. He said, I think I can do it. I'm gonna do it with what I, the little that I have. I mean, I, I know how to use this slingshot, so that's what I know how to use. That's what I have. I'm gonna use it. God, here's my slingshot. Bless it. Boom, giant. Slate. The man is a king. <laughs> he didn't go through the training. He didn't use the, the king's sword that the king suggested. Hey, use my sword. You know, it's powerful. He didn't do all of that. He used the little that he had. Jesus himself fed 5,000 people with little. And everybody was like, oh my God, what are we going to do? We're going to go, we're going to tell them to leave. Because we don't have enough. Like, they can't eat here. Like, they got to leave. And Jesus was like, child, sit down. Make them sit down. Let them sit. What do we have? Two fish, five breads. God, abracadabra. Everyone ate. Little. He used the little. He didn't kick them out. He didn't find an excuse. He said, what do we have? We're going to use what we have. We're going to use the little that we have. We are going to feed them. You are going to feed them. So what are you putting out? What are you using? What are you letting die, letting rest in your life that you can literally use? Use what you have. Let's use what we have. And the last thing is just to be obedient. You know, be obedient to God because obviously um, we have a tendency of wanting exactly what we want, the way we want it. But if you feel like you're somebody that, you know, you can hear from God in a way or somebody told you something and you're seeking God and you're praying about it, then you can have that feeling like, yeah, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is not what I'm supposed to do. Listen to that. Listen to that and be obedient to it because obedience will literally lead you to success. That's just facts. So I hope that you remember. First. Be confident when you come in the presence of the Lord. Second, be persistent. Third, be humble and recognize your position in God. Recognize that you are a child of the Most High. Recognize the gift and talent that God has placed in you. Fourth, use the little. Now that you've recognized it, you know what it is, use it. And fifth is have faith. Have faith that God is going to do exactly what he said he would do. Have faith that what you're doing will work. Have faith that what God has placed in your hand is not in vain. And that it will, you know, it, it says he who started a good work in you will carry it to completion. So have faith that God, he gave you that, he's going to finish it. He opened that door. He is going to make you walk through that door, excel, and, you know, open the other door so that more people can excel. So <laughs> I'm tired of this lie, y'all. And the last thing is just be obedient. You know, be obedient to God. Be obedient to his direction. Spend time with God. You cannot have faith. You cannot know what God wants for your life if you don't spend time with him. 15 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, 5 minutes a day. And the more you do it, the more you develop it. The more you develop the habit, the more you know about yourself because God created you. It says that he formed you since you was in your, in your mother's womb. There is nobody that knows you like God knows you. There is nobody that wants your best like God wants your best. So seek him. Seek him. Look for him. Spend time with him. Spend time with yourself. Learning about yourself. What it is that I like to do. What it is that God has given me. What is it that I can start today? What is something that I've been put a delay on that I keep saying, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. And I just never did it. Use what you have. Use the little. Stop procrastinating and start taking action on what God gave you. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that I was able to um, explain to you exactly what I needed and how I needed to explain it. I hope that this video blessed you and gave you motivation to just use what you have and to go after it. I hope that I also encourage you to continue to seek God diligently every single day. The same way you do other stuff every single day, you shower, you brush your teeth, it's the same way. You don't have time, well, found time. Use the little time that you have in the car on the way to the job, use the little time that you have before you sleep, use the little time that you have to just do it. Y'all, this fly has been trying me. 
<laughs> this fly has been trying me i don't know i don't know but anyway i'm done y'all thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was very useful i hope it blessed you this is also me using the little that i have the little knowledge that i have the little time that i have and you know the little gift that i have to share with you this and i hope that this impacted you and i hope that it will impact you and if it did go ahead and share it to somebody that i know it will help or you know tell them about the video or tell them about what you've learned in the video and if you have any question or any suggestion to make this better or you know any constructive criticism put it down in the comments below be nice now be nice okay if you have any question about anything or you just want to chat let's just chat you know let's talk down below about what it is that you're struggling with any tips that you need thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and stay blessed love you